Hello and welcome back to another Beyblade X unboxing. Today, I finally got my hands on UX06 Leon Crest, the brand new defense type, surprisingly. Uh, it took me quite a while to get my hands on both this and Phoenix Rudder packages. So sorry about the lack of uploads. I was just really waiting to get my hands onto this. And without further ado, let's take a look at the back of the box. So up here describes, I guess, Leon Crest's brand new gimmick, if you could call it a gimmick, which is supposed to be like absolute defense because the uh, blade here is really thick compared to other blades as well as the brand new ratchet that we'll be looking at the stats for very soon. Here is the blade, Leon Crest. As you can see, the defense stat is incredibly high compared to Leon Claws. And here's the brand new ratchet, 760. Uh, there's its stats, seems to be more focused to defense if you care about the stats. And seems really rounded and we'll go more into detail with that. And here is a not brand new part, Gear Needle, that came with Sphinx Cowl. I've seen a lot of hate for Gear Needle, and I'm not sure if it beca because it came with Sphinx Cowl, or if it is an actual bad tip. But we'll see that once we actually battle with it. But before we battle with it, let's unbox it. Here we have all the brand new parts from Leon Crest laid out. And as always, I'll be starting from the very bottom, which is the tip. That is the only not brand new part. Gear Needle. I won't uh, discuss this too much because we've seen this on Fink's Cowl, I believe it was called. But I know a lot of people don't like this bit too much. It's apparently worse performing than regular Needle. And I personally haven't used Sphinx Cowl too much and therefore not Gear Needle too much. So I don't really have much of an opinion. Besides that I really like the kind of desaturated colors that it came out with. You know, it's nice to have this bright green in your face, but it's also nice to have something that doesn't really take your attention away from the whole, whole combo. Moving on. And here we have the brand new Ratchet 760. Here is a top view of the Ratchet. Bottom view. Try to get the light shining on it to see the details. And then a side profile. Just like any of the five Ratchets, the plastic bit is a lot thicker than the actual height itself. And that does not mean that the ratchet is taller. It is still six millimeters in height. It just kind of has like a little overhang here. Right there. But to, I guess, balance it, they added quite the bit, uh, one of the um, contact points a lot taller than the rest. As you can see here, just glides easily. And then my finger just gets caught on this bump, but it only seems to be one bump. Yeah, the rest of it's pretty rounded. And then again, it's still as thick as the rest of them. Just try to balance it out. This ratchet from being too overpowered, I guess. Moving on. Moving on to the main event, Leon Crest itself. Here's the top view of Leon Crest. So again, it is a UX Beyblade. No plastic part covering the sticker just sticker and then plastic prongs here flipping it over a lot of plastic down here and the side profile wow it it just looks a lot more thicker in person than it does in the videos i've seen plenty of people all talk about how thick this beyblade is it you know it's a thick huge chonkin beyblade or whatever they say but man, this is really a lot thicker than I thought it would be. Here, I'll pull up Leon Claw for comparison. Top view, it is, it is a little bit wider than Leon Claw. And the side profile, look at that. 
we unclaw is just the thickness of the plastic bit here. And then it just has that metal on top. It might be a little top heavy because of the metal on top, and just for whatever reason my head I assumed it spin this way left because that's where the blades are going but no it spins right of course it does and so it kind of has pretty aggressive contact points maybe not in the plastic area but up here kind of like the original Leon claw where it would tilt and then you would get these claw marks that would they wouldn't do anything to be honest they're just there but that's what uh, it was marketed as once it tipped over, these claw marks would add to the attacks that maybe it'll actually work for Leon Crest because there is, there is a little gap there that can get caught right there. Let me zoom in so you can actually see. As for the plastic, it's kind of uniform and rounded. Really excited to see this defense type actually, you know, do something. I kind of agree with the consensus that defense types are kind of lackluster in Bade Blade X. I haven't, I don't really have a favorite like defense type, but this might take the cake. And now let's weigh all the parts. Here we have Geared Needle in this nice color. That weighs probably 2 grams. Yep. The brand new. 760 top view bottom view side view with the little extra bump here that weighs seven grams that's a little heavier than usual for ratchets and here we are leon crest top view bottom view or not bottom side here's the bottom view and that weighs oh it seems like I got kind of lighter I've seen it go up to 35 grams now let's weigh the whole combo here is the full Leon crest combo this this feels this feels goofy how thick it is because um the 760 lines up with the, the blades of Leon Crest and it just makes the plastic part look even thicker. And this whole combo weighs 43.8 grams. So again, wow, like I have, uh, <laughs> it's just kind of silly looking in a good way. I love how just like it's a huge, burger bun I guess let me assemble Leon claw real quick here we go look at that side by side what is this what the heck the whole there's a whole metal piece taller than this and again this is still 60 60 height 60 height what the heck this weighs 40 grams around it and we bumped it up around three grams, at least for my combo. Dude, look at that. Oh, and it looks so much cooler because of the avatar in the center. Super excited to battle with this, especially since these kind of like, I don't know if they're still supposed to be representing the lion's claws or whatever, but hopefully it'll actually be recoil heavy. I mean, that's not really what you want for a defense type, but I think it'll be fun to see Man, this just kind of looks goofy. I'm just worried about the plastic getting all scuffed up because uh, again, look at that. It's gonna hit the plastic before the metal. But yeah, super excited to battle with this thing. Let me try to spin it on this cardboard and see how it looks spinning. Trying something out. Hold on. Ugh. That kind of worked. Oh, look at that. I think that looks cool. That's not where I wanted to land, but it landed there. That looks ridiculous, but so cool too. All right, thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know, oh, there it goes, who you want Leon Crest to battle.
And um, yeah, stay tuned for Phoenix Rudder when I unbox that too. See ya.